Well, hi there. You know what today is? It's reset day. Yep. So I'm right here with a lot of other people uh, trying to see what they got in their weekly vault from all their hard work that they put in last week. Um, I've done mostly uh, Mythic Plus keys on this character. I, I even, even cleared the raid for the first time in years. I'm not a raider at all, so... <laughs> Uh, it was only a normal, but, you know, I figured, why not just check it out? And um, I was with the guild, so I wanted to give them give them some, uh, some help with that as well. So, I'll be opening my vault. Uh, I haven't checked what it is, what's inside there just yet. Um, and uh, I just wanted to mention, um, yeah, usually I... Uh, I do these videos with a cam, but not today because I've made a horrible mistake last night. Um, I ended up waiting, I don't know, three or four hours in the dungeon finder, hoping to find a 20 to get invited to, and it just did not happen. I... I even got invited at, at one point and I was just like, oh yes, this is the one. This is the one. It was a Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. I was like, no, there's like, it's very likely we're just going to two chest this, you know? Well, considering that I have only done, I don't know, these level keys, people, the person in the, the leader of the group just, I guess, uh, had doubts and as soon as an evoker showed up. I got kicked out of the group before I even, you know, we even started the key. So, uh, unfortunate. I felt like I, I don't know. I don't think I should ever do that again. Kind of, you know, sacrifice my sleep over some stupid competition late at night. You know, whatever. <laughs> so instead, I was I was okay with just like you know taking taking the defeat. I've done a lot of 18s yes, or yeah, yesterday, uh, the, the whole week, really. Um, so I should at least have something good enough, right? All right. Well, yeah. So my, anyway, my, my suspicion is that I just didn't pray to the old gods or something, so... I didn't have the luck yesterday. <laughs> so, uh, all right. This is all to show me what you got. All right. I am set to, I'm going to set it to balance. I need, I wanted to help out a guild with get, get a, a trinket, but setting it to balance because who knows what kind of trinkets will um, show up for me. Uh, yeah, let's go. Come on, this is Help me out here. <laughs> oh, 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 dang it, dude. What, what does tier piece even look like? Like for real? <laughs> well, it's got a massive amount of uh, avoidance. I, I do, I do approve of that. Oh, well, look at that. Look, I see a staff. Oh. That's actually a, a possibility right there. Um, I seen this this ruby whelp shell has dropped for me so many times. Every time that I've done ruby life pools, this has dropped, and it's just like, I don't know. I considered using it at one point, but I did I did get the furious rage feather to drop. Even if my my rage feather is at a lower item level, I decided to use that instead. Um, so I don't think I really want to mess with the ruby shell. But that's as far as the mythic plus uh, rewards go. I'm still upset. I don't see any any tier whatsoever. I haven't gotten a single tier piece. Like, yeah, yeah, at all. Uh, so we got some legs here, uh, a nice staff, um, and uh, a trinket I'll, that I'll probably never end up using. 
So those are four eighteens. Yeah, I, I made sure that I was I had three four eighteen rewards from Mythics. Um, but let's see what we got here from the the raid. Even if it's at, at a three eighty nine, I think it's worth checking out. So, uh, nope, I don't think it's uh, this bell is not doesn't seem like a good upgrade. Okay, all right, I see where I see where. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, uh, I knew this was gonna happen. So the 389 is it okay. The only time I see a, a tier is if it's like super lower item level than everything else that's on this page. Uh yeah, alright. Well I got I already have a neck piece, even though that would have been a good choice prior to me making my Lariat. Um that uh, socketed uh, haste and megaverse uh, neck right there would have been a pretty good, pretty good choice. But I did end up making my uh, elemental lariat last week. Um, if you haven't uh, seen my video about that, do check it out. Uh, it can be a helpful piece of information for you because not everyone knows how to get the three sockets that I have, like you know, over there and. Uh, some tips on how to get a uh, main stat gem anyway off topic but uh yeah <laughs> that's where my tier piece is for this character uh this 389 from the normal raid Ugh. i was gonna i was leaning towards getting the staff um oh geez i knew this is gonna be horrible um well uh, i hate this so much I really do. I feel like uh, I feel like I I hear this voice of other people telling me right now. I just pick the tier piece because everyone's looking for tier right now. And one of the main reasons I probably didn't get invited to uh, to a lot of those keys that I signed up to was because they checked my my Raider IO page uh, and saw that I have zero tier. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, they were kind of sus, um, which I get. There's a lot of people playing right now and the competition is real. And not only that, there are other classes that um, provide other things. So of course they're gonna go with someone with tier and other uh, abilities in their toolkit, so. But yeah, um, I do have this code open here. This is uh, my SimCraft string um this time i do have a um what is it my questionly epic uh, live page here see i don't i don't know if this website really does anything because okay it's one of the things i've been uh, kind of wondering about since you don't have a two-piece set already um you don't have another tier piece trying to sim something like this i feel like the this option of getting your first tier piece will probably not be as like recommended for you to go by the by the add-on or by the site uh simming tool because it doesn't add up to the set bonus so i feel like it, that's probably why it's not choosing this as an option for me to go with because it's definitely making me go with the staff instead um it's, it's a major increase in healing and stuff like that um but uh, it's a shame man like if if this weapon wouldn't have dropped or would I, wouldn't have been in my my vault right now i would have immediately chosen this right here the set because the tier bonus is so good for us though for like druid in general i feel like it's a pretty good uh um tier set but i oh god <laughs> this is always the really really tricky part um it's this column right here that's calling to me like it might as well 
name it call him you know like just, they're just calling me uh hyper focused on these two items right now um uh, what would you choose if you're in my position by the time I, I upload this by the time i upload this i would have already i've, I've made my decision so it's not like <laughs> It's not like I'm, I can hear you or see your your uh, input, but try to manifest it. Try to see if I, I will choose what you choose. Okay? I'll give you like five seconds. Um, all right. What would you choose? Um, yeah, the 418 uh, crit haste staff here. Or the 389 uh, druid legs, tier pieces, tier, tier you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, well, yeah. So the thing is, I don't want to continue to put in valor points into my staff because I already put on so much. This was, this was uh, something I anticipated. Uh, I this uh this portal ripper stuff that I'm currently equipping was at uh, like what 389 or something like that previously I don't know maybe maybe a little higher because I put all of my um all the available valor points that I've accumulated into getting it to 405 so I feel like I feel like I would get that kind of resentment right now that oh since I already put all that valor in then I shouldn't get rid of it I shouldn't just replace it but at the same time, it takes about a thousand valor each time, each upgrade, and I still got three upgrades to go. You know, and we only get what uh, seven fifty every week right now. Uh, am I am I right? Let's see, if you go to Wowhead, it tells you the weekly cap increase uh, for your valor is seven fifty. So, yeah, um, that's like three weeks, at least, of me trying to get a somewhat higher, um, uh, oh, I just, <laughs> okay, that's what it was. I got a message here that someone's having issues picking out their vault items as well, so, um, I'm gonna have to hurry up with this video if they need help but yeah this um i'm definitely i'm just like tired of this whole valor thing i don't want to <laughs> because i don't do enough 19s and 20s right now. like i haven't seen any higher um yeah like i said it's the valor points that i put into my staff that are kind of like eh you know at this point i would have to wait another vault to see a, a good staff or continue to put valor into my own staff because who knows how many 18 or 19s because at this point i need a, i need a time 19s at least to get 405 and so yeah of course this item right here the other um oh my god everyone's just wondering about my vault i will answer in a moment i'm just letting them know what i had in my vault all right so my friend gave me some input i think i called on to the gods Nazos was listening and he was like all right let's get this person to, to like start asking questions here like so they asked me what i got in the vault and i told them i got these two options that I, I'm, I'm fighting for that are fighting for my attention and so they told him they told me that you know what it's probably better to get the staff and i you know i think i think they're right because catalyst will be opening soon and by the time the catalyst is catalyst is open i'd be having a lot more higher item level to turn into tier so i'll just have to put up with the group finder declining me constantly for a little bit longer <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> at least i'll have a higher item level but all right there there's my answer i will be picking up the staff okay here we go we got a brand new staff that looks like a dragon serpent dragon what, what's my key halls oh i don't like it there i don't like it in there help 
All right, so the person asking me, uh, asking me something, maybe we can help them. The issue is that they have one tier piece, lost land collar's mantle, and I have the option to take that, and they have the option to take that chest shoulder. Okay, so I think I should, but I'm currently wearing that chest piece for 18. Okay, for 411. Okay. I could also take this. So those are legs. Okay. So some crit mastery legs or the flask. And I'm feeling like I should still take tier, but not 100% sure. All right. It seems kind of low on AMR, but I think working toward foresight is probably best. Oh, see, I think their, their um, logic is pretty sound. They had some good pieces in their, in their vault. Kind of, kind of, kind of lucky. Very lucky. They're they're having their four set before me. Before I have a one one piece. <laughs> I don't know if I should even uh, transmog it. I actually really like it. Okay. Did I just get logged out? All right. That that explains it. That's cool. So there. Yeah. It's the reason why I wasn't able to equip my staff is because I did lose internet there. So um. But I'm back. Yeah, the storm has been pretty bad. So, <laughs> okay. So I'm back and I'm going to be checking the vault for my other characters. I do have a an evoker here, which I haven't really worked on her mog <laughs> ever since I, you know, I don't really play her. Um, but I decided to level and start doing a little bit of keys. Just very low, low level. I'm not, I'm not super, super stressed about it about trying to keep this one up i had enough enough stress trying to get this one up this one geared up and my io you know just just pugging has been a, a kind of a nightmare so uh i'm not willing to repeat that on my other characters just yet um but yeah i do have a 7d preservation evoker here and i do have a uh um a paladin here uh, I just created, I just crafted this, this, um, this shield here and I, and I got this weapon in my, uh, return in your four mythic zeros or mythics, uh, to get a raid item and I got a, uh, a weapon, a nice looking weapon, but I do need to update her monk. Anyway, um... I uploaded a video of me actually tanking on this character last night. I tanked a 10. I don't really do keys. The first day of me doing keys was taking, pretty much tanking a 10 on her last night for a vault item. Um, she's like, th she was like 370 something. So when I did that, okay. So next up. We're going to go check my evoker. People have been asking me if I'm going to be playing other characters, other roles um, in the future. And I am always open to that. It's just like recently, you know, me returning to the game required me to really uh, work on some health issues. And so I had to really kind of be in a better spot to even play the game because I just could not um it was very uh challenging for me to play for long periods of time because I was dealing with health problems but I am back and I wanted I do want to just keep it take it easy a little bit um one character at a time but I figured why not just have a few other alts that I could just kind of passively work on? Um, no stress, you know, because I already deal with enough enough stress, pugging keys as a healer. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll also, just keep in mind, uh, you're if you're trying to gear up, there is a um a weekend event from this guy, the one tough draconid. And PC right here, you'll get a 389 uh, piece uh, for the reward. Um, and yeah, so let's just get to my vault here real quick. 
I have it set to, uh, I think, Devastation. Yeah. Quickly open this. I have nothing to really think about because I've only done one key. It was 110. I don't really do keys on her. And I was going to say, if this is another tier piece, I'm going to I'm gonna actually blow up. Because <laughs> she's gotten two tier pieces for just doing like one key every week, basically. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, but right, yeah, this time it's not a tier piece, but I mean, if it was, why not? Why not just get her four set? You know, why not? Just, but anyway, easy uh, upgrade right here. Um, yeah, slowly, slowly getting my item level. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not really working on this character at all. Uh, yeah, so 382, not a super big increase, but for someone that I've only, you know, spent the most time before keys came out, this is how I got my, my item level this high. I just farmed rares and did a lot of world, world content. <laughs> um, so that is an option for you if, uh, if you're not doing keys just yet. <sighs> It was pretty simple to heal a 10 at this item level, so totally an option. That was easy. Now on to my, my paladin. I was thinking while I was, you know, spontaneously playing her yesterday, I was thinking, what should I focus on? Do I just want to keep her a tank? Do I eventually turn into a healer again because I used to heal I used to be a holy paladin main uh, like very briefly in BFA <laughs> but um it was on alliance so it's a completely different character in this <clears throat> but yeah I was thinking do I just want to have all the healers again or do I just want to mix it up uh, mix it up a little bit and I do actually enjoy I enjoy tanking on on this character. Um, do enjoy that. Um, so that's why I'm like wondering if I should just keep my loot spec to prop, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Um, this is my gear at the moment. Um, I have a few. Uh, interesting trinkets here <laughs> um i do like that i have this awesome one-hander from the raid but yeah i i think i'm honestly just gonna stay prop because i have no intention of like healing on this character unless it's like totally needed i don't know so i'm just gonna open it i only have one piece uh one uh vault item in here anyway uh yeah okay so we got some boots not bad losing some bursts but mastery is haste is actually way more important i think i do need a higher higher haste here we go we are done with all my vault items <laughs> um yeah and i got some extra here Okay. Yeah. Uh, 380, pretty much. Uh, getting there anyway. Could be doing some higher keys, possibly. Um, but that was fun. Um, I wish I didn't have to experience a uh, disconnect, disconnection there. Um, because now I, I'm pretty much forced to uh, <laughs> edit this video because I really don't want you to like kind of stare at this, a blank screen for while I'm waiting for the internet to get back on. Um, but yeah, uh, if you haven't opened your vault yet, uh, let me know uh, if you're praying to the old gods or not, you know, see how that works for you. Okay. See if Nazoth is your boy. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, 
that was my weekly vault video on three characters and um looking forward to this week he's uh it's a uh, tyrannical raging storming and thundering that i'll be doing so all right well good luck in your vault and hope to see you in the next one